Woo! Girl, do I have some gel? Do I have some hairspray? What's the tea? Woo! Girl, don't go in so close on those pores. Hold on, I have some hair sticking out right here. Okay, come, shout out to 1x50, girl. My little gay hairspray that uh, I have a little discount code with, girl. Check it out. Link in the description box. Heeny. Link in the description box. Heeny. Okay, does that look better, girl? No, she's still coming for me. It's okay. She can come for me all she wants. Oh, don't get so close on those pores. You know what? I am going to put foundation on while everybody comes on board. Hi, everybody. Woo. That voice came out real masculine, honey. Hold on. Let me get my little Mariah Carey octaves. Let me get these octaves together. I have to sound like a little gay butterfly. Okay, there we go. Hold on. Uh, I feel like I'm going through the gigs. Um, I haven't really slept, so I'm going to use my Too Faced. Hold on. My little Too Faced Hangover 3 in 1. Oh, come on. Give me a, give me a little refresher, Mama. Mama. We got to refresh this face, Mama, because she's going through the... I'm going to try... I'm going to use my... It Cosmetics, Your Skin But Better, CC Plus Oil Free. Oh my gosh, I think she's starting to go through the gigs. I might be running out. Hold on. I feel like I got a little. We got Chris Garcia. I love you, girl. Congrats on the Sephora squad. Oh, thank you, baby. Oh my God. I, before I even continue, girl, my, my mug is already cracked, honey. Before I even put this foundation on, I know I did a whole video dedicated to saying thank you to every single one of you who like wrote in a testimonial. This is gonna be my, this could be the last time I say it because I'm pretty sure you guys are already getting really annoyed. Um, just one more time, thank you to everybody from the bottom of my heart who wrote in a testimonial for me uh, because this would not have been possible without you guys, without your support, uh, without you guys rooting for me and believing in me and that same energy because I'm all about energy, baby. That same energy of positivity and support and just well-being and success, I am sending that energy to you right now, you watching. I am sending that positive energy right back at you, bitch, okay? Um, I want everybody to be able to succeed and make their dreams come true. Okay, girl, I'm stuttering. Make your dreams come true just as they're happening for me. Even if it's one dream, some, honestly, sometimes, girl, life is a journey, honey. Life is a struggle. We have to celebrate every little success, even if it's minor, whatever, even if it's not major. You know, today, this could be our last day on this planet. Today could be it. So you have to make today, whatever this is, be present in this moment and be grateful for whatever success you have today. Girl, if that was just waking up in the morning, that's already a success, honey, okay? Because there's a lot of people who probably didn't even wake up, honey, girl, going through the gigs. So just be grateful and be present in this moment for what's going on right now. That's all that matters. Don't worry about what happened yesterday. Don't worry about what's going to happen tomorrow. Right now. Be present in this moment right now. And I'm present, honey. And I'm so grateful for every one of you guys who have been there for me and who are presently here supporting me in this moment. Whatever, regardless of how big it is, how not big it is, in this moment, all of you guys who are right here watching this live with me, we're present in this moment, so we gotta be thankful for it. Trust, okay? I am your inner and outer beauty influencer honey we need to focus on that inner beauty honey because she is being left behind not tonight not anymore okay girl let me put this little foundation girl because i need to help my outer beauty match my inner beauty honey because you better believe on the inside honey i might look like a terror on the outside honey but on the inside i'm beautiful okay believe that honey <laughs> Let me, put, let me put some of this little foundation, honey. Help help this busted queen going through the gigs, honey. I have horrible pores, girl. I got marks, wrinkles, pores. 
I got z zit marks, girl. I'm going through the gigs, honey, but you better believe that that outer, the outer is about to match the inner. Believe it. Let me give some shout outs. For, oh, you know what? I haven't even done my intro. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. Because I know y'all live for a little gay intro, honey. I know y'all live. So let's go ahead and do this gig, honey. What's the... Oh, that was an extra pop, honey. What's the tea, everybody? This is your girl. Your big ass BBW girl. Luscious. Massacre. And I'm here giving you the little full fantasy, honey. The little homosexual fantasy in this live gig. I have been seeing everybody on Twitter. First of all, bitch, this is a moment, okay? Anastasia Beverly Hills actually added me to their PR list. Like, I'm on it, honey. And they sent me PR, which is pretty much their entire line. Like, literally, their entire line of this box. Oh, I'm not even lying. Oh. It's heavy. Girl, look, everything's shaking, going through the gigs. This PR is serious business, okay? So, uh, I am, I feel like, uh, oh, a lot of people like, I don't want anybody to think I take this for granted. Like, this is a huge moment. And I keep seeing everybody on Twitter uh, posting their pictures, receiving their PR. Uh, but, you know, I after so many pictures, it, it all starts kind of looking the same. So I figured, you know what, I don't want to post a picture. Why don't I just go live and I kind of like open everything and you kind of like, I take you with me on that journey as I open the box and we all kind of get to see it together and we got it, we kind of get to all feel that moment together. Because let me tell you, honey, if it wasn't for all of you guys who watch me every week and go to the gigs with me, honey, every week, I wouldn't even have this PR. Like, this would not even be happening. Hold on, I need to put a little bit of right. Okay. She's trying to come for me. Okay, this is my least favorite part of makeup. Like, having to do that inner area between the brows. Because, like, you just have, you have to get it just right. If not, it can completely ruin your brows. There we go. Oh, I hate it. Yeah, but honestly, the oh, I'm so excited to be getting this PR. I'll give some shout outs in a minute, honey. Hold on. Let me just focus and put this, this foundation. Okay, this really cleared up my skin, baby. Okay, I'm telling you guys, this is my favorite everyday foundation. It just makes me look so clean, and it doesn't look... Like I'm wearing a ton, 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 ton of makeup. Um, well, I mean, at least I swear I don't. It don't look like that. And I'm also going to put on my favorite concealer right now. It's the Milk Makeup. I use the shade Caramel. <gasps> this stuff is so cute because it is like, it's full coverage, but it doesn't look like you're wearing anything. Like, I don't know how they make that happen. Like, it fully conceals you. But you don't look like, oh, you don't look super like done. Like it just, it looks like your skin. Um, that is what I want. A cons Hold on, let me get my little mirror. My little Dollar Tree mirror. Where's she at, honey? Hold on, hold on. Okay, I don't want to look like I'm wearing full coverage cake. And this. Even though I can pack it on. She doesn't look like she's wearing the most. Okay. Okay. Look, already my skin, I'm looking so, ooh, I'm looking so snatched. And it's just concealer and it's not even that intense. It just looks like my skin, bitch. Oh my God, look. I kind of blend it with that same brush. And then I also use my finger to really get in in there under my eye. A finger sometimes is the only tool that you can use to get things right together. 
you know, pat, pat, pat. Make sure it blends into your skin really well. Put a little bit over the eye because I don't like my eye to look like I'm not, you know? If you don't put makeup over your eye and you're wearing foundation and concealer and everything, you're gonna, they're gonna be able to see that you're wearing it. Okay, they're gonna clock you. So then my final step, hold on, let me get my little, where is she? Okay, so I, lo I love to use a Morphe E48 brush. I love the way this brush is shaped. And I get, I get my little Morphe, oh, and I know I'm not even a Morphe girl. I don't have a discount code. Honestly, I just, I picked this up and I've been using it and it works really well. I don't want to come off as one of those beauty influencers that they're just like, use Morphe and then girl, no. I'm not getting any kind of sponsorship. I'm just, honestly, this is what I use. Okay, and I just pat that translucent powder all over my areas where I don't want my makeup to shine and where I don't want my makeup to move, especially right here. Oh, I hate that line in my forehead, girl. I am not one of those girls that is all about like Botox or surgery or all that, but if I ever, had the opportunity to get something done I would get that line erased it annoys the heck out of me okay and as I'm getting older I can see it right here look as I get older these little lines I don't know what they were they're called maybe they're just wrinkles these little lines are popping up and I'm just like it is what it is it's not a big deal mama it happens. We're human, honey. The years of abuse I put in my body, honey. She's starting to show up right there. And it's okay. We got to embrace her. Because Lord knows I put this body through some good use, honey. Okay? <laughs> and then I'm going to take the little Hangover Too Faced Spray. Oh, Should I put a lip on? Maybe I should put... Let me put a lip. Hold on, what should I wear? I think I have these two from Milk Makeup. These are beautiful lipsticks. I think I'm gonna go with this one. So this is in the color Chillin'. <gasps> oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ooh, bitch. I love how beautiful. Okay. Sing for me, Paolo. Sing for me. Yes, honey. Okay. So, this is pretty much my... My little gay look for today. I hope I look snatched. Let me pull this. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not even it's not even about pulling my hair it's about pulling my forehead bitch okay let me pull this forehead back a little bit honey <laughs> trust girl trust okay let me let me <laughs> let me do some shout outs really quick we got Marcia Beasley I love you girl I Marcia I love you right back honey let me go through these little shout outs we got Mal Mal Marimar honey yeah she said she says she's she, she she says she's there. She's here. She came through. We got Danish there, bro. She said you are doing the most. Oh baby, you know me, honey. I've been doing the most all day, every day, honey. These lips are hydrated. These lips are okay. These lip these lips are not going through the gigs. I want to meet you. My name is Mal Mal. Okay, come on, Miss Mal Mal, honey. She's here. We got Ivy Prince. Missed you at the meet and greet. Wish you were there today. Oh my God! Shout out to my good Judy Rich Lots in the house. My goody Judy Rich Luck, she had a meet and greet. I hope everything went fabulous. I had to come back home, honey. I wasn't able to be there. We got Victor Casares. She says the muck people need some muck bangs. Yes, honey, the little mucks. Girl, we got all the mucks out there. Shout out to Sweets03 with a little taco money, honey. Yes, ma'am, the house down. Thank you to everybody who's watching. Okay, so let's do this, girl. Do, should we just dive right into it? I think we should just dive right into it. Everybody who's watching, give me a little gay thumbs up. Girl, I look so clean and so fresh. Girl, the little, the little, that little Anastasia came through. I'm sorry, not Anastasia. 
the it cosmetics girl this is everything girls check it out you need to try it out y'all need to try it out okay so i got the box let me open it oh my god it's so heavy i'm good i'm shook wait i feel like i have a box cutter where is it oh don't come for me where you at bitch girl i had it right here bitch where'd you go oh no ma'am apparently the box cutter chose to not show up for the party where <laughs> no oh there she is oh i was already getting real bitter honey i was like girl no ma'am i'm going through the gig the house okay <laughs> Oh my god, I had so much fun in Houston. I got to hang out with my good Judy Rich Lux. We we are we just had fun. And you know what? We are so like we are such like little old ladies. We didn't go out anywhere. We didn't do nothing. We literally we just spent this time at home shooting videos, watching movies, eating food, hanging out. Like I was there what? Like a little bit over a week. I didn't we didn't do nothing, girl. We didn't go anywhere. I think maybe like one day we went out to like hamburger mary's but we didn't do much honey we, we was not bothered oh my god okay i'm about to open the box i just opened it but there's a there's a there's like a there's like a card oh oh my god this is heavy there's like a cardboard right there let me let me show you guys on camera oh. okay you you already know if you're one of those little youtube ladies and you be getting pr the low gay youtube ladies we need pro tip pro tip for all of the little YouTubers, girl, get your little box cutter. And you know what? Oh, this is heavy. This, I actually stole this from when I used to work at T-Mobile. Okay? Not bother. <laughs> I've had this box cutter for years. But you know what? This is reparations for years of abuse. <laughs> I took this box cutter from T-Mobile by accident. Because when I was working at T-Mobile, we would always be opening the little cell phone boxes. And I used to put it in my pocket because everybody would grab the box cutter. They would take it. And I was like, uh-uh, honey. You ain't taking my box cutter. So I put it in my pocket. And one day I forgot. And I, I came home and I brought it with me. So I, and, and I just took it out. And I kept, ever since then, this is my little T-Mobile box cutter. But this reminds me. This little box cutter, it has such a reminder of where I've come from, honey. And where I don't want to go back to. I don't want to return. This is a reminder of the years of the history of abuse, of all of the things I went through, all of the things I don't want to go back, honey, don't go back. This reminds me that I am exactly where I need to be. This reminds me that I am doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, bitch. This is a reminder of the power of life and where life can take you, bitch. If you believe, like Whitney and Mariah said, honey, if you dream and if you follow the rainbow, honey, you never have to go back to the box cutter, honey. <laughs> Bitches are so heavy. Oh, this is where your dreams can take you, bitch. This is where, oh, this is where your dreams, they can lead you, honey. Girl, these, oh, all these lipsticks are falling, girl. <laughs> Oh my God, that is a lot of makeup, bitch. <laughs> and it all just fell all over the counter. <laughs> Girl. <laughs> that, that is where you too, if when you start to see your dreams come true, this is what it feels like. Oh, let me calm down before I have a heart attack, girl. <laughs> let me calm down, girl, before I have a full moment. I'm looking at that box, and I'm just shook at the amount of makeup in that box. Oh, my God. Hold on. Let me pick these lipsticks up, girl, because they started going through the game. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my God, there is so much stuff in this box. Oh, girl. This is what happens when you stop being afraid and you start living your dream, no matter what that means, girl. Because a lot of times, we don't even know what that means. 
and following your dreams really being fearless and really following your dreams it can be the most the scariest thing you will ever go through girl let me tell you my story honey I was working for that company that company and I got to a point where I had so much depression I had so much anxiety because it's one of those environments where you have to work based on like sales and quotas I had so much pressure and I felt so undervalued, so unappreciated. I, I, they made me feel like I was a number. And every day I woke up and I was like, oh my God, I hate my job. And I had to pay my bills because I had my own house. I didn't want to go back home to live with my mom. I had to have to pay my car. I, I just, I didn't see any other route. And one day I woke up and I said, this is it. It's over. I am no longer going to allow these people to treat me this way. I have so much talent. I have, this is not the end of the world. And I quit my job and I never look back. But honestly, I know that for a lot of people, it can, it can be so, so hard. And you can be so afraid of, of the repercussions of what it's going to mean of, you just have to get rid of all that fear because at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world. You're still breathing. You're still walking. You, you're you still alive. You're not going to die. So I just, today, as I was saying earlier, just remember to be present. Focus on the fact that you're right here. This is already a success. The fact that we are right here looking at each other, honey, this is already a success. This is something to be, to feel blessed about. So don't, don't feel afraid. You really do have to be fearless, honey, every day. Um, and follow your dreams. That's the best advice I can give you. Follow your little gay dreams. Because if my fat ass... Let me put this right here, honey. If my big old fat ass can follow her dreams, so can you, honey. Okay, look, we got lip... Oh, my God, there's so much stuff here. We got lipsticks. This is the Anastasia Beverly House. We got liquid lipsticks. This is a lip gloss. Oh my God, there's so much stuff. I'm gonna try to go through everything. You guys, I cannot, is there, do I have a bin or something? This is, look, I'm gonna start putting them in here. Let me see if I can, so I can show you guys how many of this there is. Girl, they, they, they brought, I have the entire Anastasia. I have the entire Anastasia warehouse up in my house, honey. Okay? Girl, Anastasia is really giving it to the girls. <laughs> this is insane. What am I going to do with all this makeup? Harder. Harder, harder, harder. <laughs> Girl, it don't even fit. It don't even fit. Girl, I still got way more. I still got way more. Oh my God, let me, okay, I'm gonna get rid of all the lipsticks so we can start seeing what they actually sent me because I'm not gonna be able to go through all these lipsticks on this live, honey, that's too much. We ain't got enough, we ain't got that much time. We, aren't, we ain't got that much time. Oh my God, they gave me all the lipsticks too. Oh my God, how cute. This is a nude matte lipstick. Oh my God, you guys, I used to buy these for my mom. Like my mom has a bunch of these. And oh, what a moment. It's such a full circle moment. Like here I am now getting the entire Anastasia PR collection. And I used to buy all these for my mom. <laughs> that is so crazy. I remember for Christmas, I got her like four or five like little Anastasia lipsticks. Because my mom loves lipsticks, honey. That's her favorite thing to wear. Okay, so let's see what this is. Let's get this tea, honey. Hold on, do I, need to, do I need to do some shout outs? Let me see, what's the tea? What's the little gay tea? We have John Baxter in the house. Thank you, baby. And then we have Amanda Herrera. She says, so happy for you. Here's some taco, huh? It's taco money, honey. I hope, I hope I'm able to meet you again soon. I'm dying to visit Hamburger Mary's. Amanda Herrera from KDI. Oh, thank you, honey. I love you so much. I love you so, so much. 
so much the house we got john baxter she says how i messed up on the last one so happy for your success a joy to watch ah thank you so much baby okay so i, I don't even know what this is okay so anastasia sent me their hydrating oil oh my god cute they also sent me all of their lip glosses all of their liquid lipsticks and all of their regular lipsticks apparently that's what i think we got okay oh this is cute oh my god i'm totally gonna put this in my keychain oh cool. trust they sent me a little gay keychain look with the little anastasia beverly hills logo in the house okay okay honey Ooh, and they sent me all of their little glitters oh my god you know i am a glitter queen and i love am i sweating i am sweating <laughs> I am sweating so hard my makeup is gonna fall off, girl. <laughs> that is how hard I started to sweat. Hold on. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh, hell no. I am not about to start going through the gigs on this live. Obesity? Obesity, she trying to comfort me, girl. No, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> hell no I'm not about to sweat on this line like a big old fat ass bitch you got me fucked up girl okay look <laughs> girl not bother <sighs> girl that's how that when I opened that PR box Y'all saw me. I started getting a heart attack, girl. I started going through the gig, girl. <laughs> oh, no, ma'am. Oh, no, ma'am. <laughs> Obesity trying to come for me. Not today, bitch. Not today. Girl, there's so many lipsticks in here. I don't even know what I'm going to do. You know what? I'm going to buy some really, like, sickening little acrylics on Amazon. And I want to have everything, like, set out so I can decorate. I want to see, you know... I don't know if it's just me or if it's all y'all. Hold on. This is a lot of air. I don't know if it's just me or if it's all y'all, but <laughs> can y'all even see me, girl? Can y'all even hear me, girl? There, um, I want to set up everything so it can be, like, decorated and it can look really pretty. I love, I love buying those little acrylics so you can put all the lipsticks and you can put all the all the palettes and everything. I love, I love decorating with makeup, girl. I, I love seeing makeup is as a like to like decorate. I don't know if that makes any sense. Okay, my little gay bun girl. It's not a bun, it's just my chonguito. Girl, look, I didn't even do my chonguito right. All my hair's out in the back. It's okay. <laughs> oh my god, okay, so they sent me the Anastasia. This is the stick foundation. <gasps> oh my god, I got foundation. <gasps> Oh, I was not expecting all that, girl. What is this? The brow powder. Oh, oh, mama, honey. I also got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Loose Highlighter. Oh, wow. They sent me the little loose highlight. I'm running out of room here. I'm running out of room. They also sent me, oh, a little gay mirror. The little gay Anastasia mirror in the house. And they also sent me <clears throat> the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Pro Palette. Lord knows I need to switch up my brow, honey. So maybe I'll, maybe now that I'm getting all these Anastasia products, I can try to give y'all a new brow, the house. <laughs> uh, okay, so and then they also sent me the Brow Wiz. Oh my God, I used to buy these when I worked at Sephora. This is back in 2011. Th that is such a, a calm, like a full circle moment. I used to work at Sephora back in 2011. It was my first job ever. It was my first job ever as a makeup artist. And I swore I was a makeup artist girl. But when I first started, they put me in the in the fragrance aisle, girl. I would be the, I would be that little girl that would that would like when you would come up and they would ask me for samples, and I would be giving you the little samples and everything. Anyways. <laughs> Girl, I have come a long way, honey. I used to work, at, when I first started at Sephora, I used to work at giving out the little spray samples for the perfumes. And look at me now, bitch. Now I'm a Sephora squad. 
I'm part of the Sephora squad, the house! Now I'm a partner with Sephora as an ambassador, as their Sephora squad member. It's just such a like full circle moment for me. That's insane. Isn't that insane? Um. <laughs> okay, so I have the little lipsticks. Yeah, no, honest, when I remember when I worked my way up because I started in fragrance uh, and then I, I ended up moving to color. That's what they, I don't know if they still call it color, but that's what they used to call their like makeup artist, like the, the for the, the people who help you like try out the makeup or like they'll do your little shadows or whatever. They, that's department, it was called color. So I think Sephora has like the skincare department and then they have like color and then they have fragrance and then they have like the people who are at the registers. So like every, every section is like, it's like a title. So when I started, when I started, I was in, in fragrance and then they moved me over to color. Um, but that took a while, that took like six months. So literally for like the first six months, I was only working the, the fragrance section. Oh my God, look, so they sent me, let me see, a brow definer. I have a waterproof gel liner. Oh my God, this is a lot of stuff. The perfect brow pencil. They also sent me the brow gel, the clear brow gel. <clears throat> oh my God, this is so cute. They sent me little stencils. <gasps> I am definitely, oh my God, Sephora. I am, uh, not Sephora, Anastasia. I am going to use these because there are days when I wake up and I don't want to have to worry about doing my own eyebrows or like having to get them like the right angle and stuff. I'm going to use these so I can paint on a real quick eyebrow and get out the door. <gasps> they sent me a little sharpener. Oh, they sent me some little tweezers, girl. They sent, oh, I'm going to use these stencils. You better believe, honey. I'm going to use the little gay stencils, the house. Okay. Oh, oh. oh my God, there's so much stuff here, you guys. <gasps> they sent me like a little, pa what is this? A oh, it's another little keychain. <gasps> Ay, que bonito, this is so pretty. We have a little like, oh, a little Anastasia. Look, you get the little Anastasia dingling, honey. And you can put this on your keys. I'm definitely gonna put this in my keys. Okay, and then we have a sponge. I did not even know that Anastasia had a sponge. It's soft. I didn't even know that Anastasia had sponges. They have so much. Anastasia has grown so much. I remember when all they had was like brow products. And they've come so far. They sent me the brow, the brow creams. I got the color Jet. Oh my God, I got the color dark brown. Yes, I've been meaning to get that one. Uh, and then I have, ooh, I got the little glitter adhesive. Come on, glitter adhesive in the house. Okay, I'm kind of like trying to organize. There's so much stuff here, you guys. <gasps> ooh, girl, the scandalo, el escandalo, honey. We got the dewy set setting spray. Oh! dog girl bark in the house oh my god they sent me their powder bronzers their blush trio let me open this up ah! oh my god blush more blush guys this is still at the top i haven't even made a dent in it girl <gasps> i haven't even made a dent in it i'm shocked Oh my God, okay, we got more glitter. No, not sorry, highlighter, loose highlighter, another loose highlighter. I'm gonna need more space. I'm gonna need more, literally, I no longer fit in my house. <laughs> I feel like Anastasia, I don't even fit in my house no more, girl. More lipstick, we got more. Oh, look how cute this is. <gasps> it's a little enamel pin with the little Anastasia tweezers. Oh my God, let me put it on, hold on. This is, this is a lot of gayness. This is a lot of gayness, honey. This is very gay. This is very homosexual. 
Let me hold on. Hold on. We got Julian Echelon. She said, cute makeup. Please drop the stripper train and military train. Story time. Girl, I will, girl. Okay, let me put this on real quick. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, girl. Hold on, girl. Ay, espérame, espérame tantito. Espérame, espérame tantito. Ay, voy, ay, voy. Ah, oh, can you see it? Ah, oh, I love it. I love it the house. I love it the house. Okay. Brushes. They sent me all of their eyebrow brushes. Oh my God. This is the biggest. <gasps> this is a moment. This is a moment in history. Bitch, I love Anastasia's brow products. But I especially love Anastasia's brow brushes. And nobody really talks about this. Everybody always talks about, oh, the little Anastasia pomade. Honey. It's all in the brush. These brushes are seriously next level stuff. And they're all especially made for their, for, like, for brows. Like, these, can, look, look. This brush, this is the number, what number is this? This is the number 14. I have the number 12, which I believe is this. I have it right here. Look, I just got this, but where's mine? Here it is. I just used it to do my own eyebrows. This is mine. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow in number 12. My fave. And I have another one. Now I have two. Here it is, the number 12. And then they also sent, oh my God, look. Oh my God, the 7B. This is a concealer palette. Look, it's a brow to brush your hairs and then to apply and cut your brow with concealer. Um, these are amazing, you guys. I use... I haven't used all their collection because I never was able to get the entire collection. But now I have the whole collection. So now I'm going to really start switching up my brows. Girl, and you know that there's going to be those bitter people in the comments. Well, she still does her brows the same. Don't put any pressure on me. Okay, bitch? Let me work at my own pace, honey. Let me do what I want to do, honey. Oh, my God. They sent me their entire brush collection. Ah! For the face. The house! Oh my god. Hold on, let me get some shout outs. I feel like we got some shout outs. We got Julian Echelon. She says, I want to pay your April rent. DM me. Oh my god, girl, what do you mean? Oh my god, I have all these sugar daddies, girl, coming out of the woodworks, girl. All these little sugar daddies trying to pay my rent, girl. Girl, the scandal. <laughs> Girl, maybe I need maybe I need to drop my what is it my Venmo my Cash App. Girl, don't don't try me, don't play me, mama mama. Okay, don't 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 tempt me, bitch. Don't tempt me. You know you know us girls, us Valley girls down from the real Grandy Valley, honey. We gotta make our coin, girl. Oh my God, look at all these brushes, you guys. How sickening. I don't even know. That's a lot of brushes. I haven't even made a dent in it, girl. Oh, there is still a lot of makeup here. Oh, my God. Everybody who's watching this video, if you guys are having fun with me opening this Anastasia PR, make sure you guys give me a little like, honey. Give me a little okay like. And if you're not already subscribed to my little homosexual channel, honey, y'all need to subscribe to House Down Boots. 10 queen oh my god what is this i don't even know what this is i'm so there's more lipsticks here oh my god there's more blush trios look at all this oh look at all of this this is so much makeup you guys anastasia coming through the house more lipsticks oh my mom when I show this collection to my mom, she's gonna die. She's literally going to die. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, there's more. Ah! More lipsticks. Girl, I'm trying to dig through this, girl. Hold on, hold on. We got more lipsticks in the house. Hold on, I have to get some shout outs. Whenever y'all shout, okay. We got D and Gerald. No, wait, hold on, I read that wrong, girl. I'm so stupid. Dean Gerald. <laughs> <laughs> girl, my little Mexican girl, Inglesi Barreras, uh, Spanish as a second language, 
English as a second language realness coming through, honey. She says, congrats, Lush. I did a testimonial for you. Sephora is going to be shook with your looks. Please share some makeup with Divina Aeon and your mama. Oh, I need to. I really do. I always do. I share makeup with the girls. I really do. Um, shout out to Brownsville Tech. You know what? This is not... Hold on. This is not spoken about enough, but I do want to say, let's have a little moment. I want to seriously um, commend Sephora for the fact that I am a Latino. I am someone who is plus size and I am someone who is a drag queen, okay? I do drag makeup. That is my main area of focus. That is my passion, doing drag and the fact that they would include me on their sephora squad is a big deal you guys for for so long being a drag queen was a dirty word okay when i worked at mac when i there's certain places that i have worked they always made drag feel like if it was a dirty word like we shouldn't be proud of it we shouldn't share it uh, because women would be turned off by it. Nobody wants to get painted by a drag queen. They paint too hard. They do too much. Th th it's men. They're trying to be women. We don't understand it. We don't want to be anywhere near it. It's controversial. They never wanted to include drag queens. I always, It always felt like drag queens were never invited. Um, it always felt like drag queens were never invited, invited to the party. Okay? Um, so it just, it comes with the word drag. It comes with a lot of pain because for so long being a male in beauty and also doing drag, it felt like we had to work 10 times harder and, uh, we were always disregarded and we were always, uh, rejected by the beauty community for a very long time. And now... I feel like the tides are changing and I'm very excited to see that drag is being more accepted. People are are finally understanding that we don't mean any harm as drag queens. We do it for fun. Um, we just want to feel fabulous and glamorous and we want to feel beautiful and we do drag as an art form as a way for us to express ourselves and i am only speaking for someone as a drag queen who is a gay man who does drag i'm not speaking for trans women or anything like that i'm just speaking as a gay man who happens to do drag this is how i see it um so for sephora to go out on a limb and uh, or not go out on a limb but simply give us give me as a drag queen a seat at the table is so powerful and I really just feel so appreciated and I believe for the two there um, out of the thousands of people who were being considered to be a part of the Sephora squad there was only 24 accepted and if I'm not mistaken out of those 24 I am the only one who does drag if I'm not mistaken I'm the only one who is a drag queen in that group so I am so excited to be a part of it and I am so excited to be fearless and be proud of being a drag queen. I'm not going to shy away from drag. I'm not going to try to tone down my drag to be accepted in the beauty industry. I will continue to always wear my drag on my sleeve and be proud of it, be fearless of it. Uh, and normalize my drag as a part of beauty makeup. I don't want to suppress it. I don't want to hide it. And I don't want to change it. I don't want to tone it down to be accepted by a community. Um, I don't want to change uh, to be accepted into the beauty community. I want the beauty community to change with me. Uh, we need new voices. We need new different kind of makeups. So I'm very excited to continue to do what I do. Uh, and now I am going to do it as a partner, in a partnership with Sephora, girl. Like, who can say that? That is huge, bitch. That is such a big deal. So I just, uh, anyways, I just wanted to kind of share that. Because uh, that is, it's, it's, it's attention 
must be paid okay attention must be paid uh, because that is something that more brands need to do and more people need to be more accepting of and let me let me continue to open these this, this whole gig girl there's more in here there's more so we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills I don't know what this is it doesn't really have a name let me open this oh shadows oh my god and you know what also shout out to Brownsville Texas because we do not I repeat Brownsville Texas does not get a lot of recognition I don't see uh, unfortunately there is a lot of talent here uh, but we don't always get shown in the mainstream. Um, a lot of people from Brownsville don't always get a lot of these big opportunities. Um, so I will make sure to vow as a Brownsville citizen from this city, this fabulous city in this fabulous area, I, I volunteer, I, not volunteer, but I vow that as I continue to grow and as more doors open for me, I promise to not shut the doors behind me i want to allow people who are uh from the brownsville and the rio grande valley to also be able to walk through those doors we need to think in this way uh, because we need to empower all of the people that are a part of our communities and to shine a light on talent and give more opportunities to people we can't just walk in through the door and then close it behind us. Um, that's that's so problematic, and that's one of the reasons why people suffer so much and, and struggle so much as artists. We need to open the door, honey. So I, I am really excited to be given all of these opportunities as someone from Brownsville, Texas, um, because I'm not going to say, oh, I want to put Brownsville on the map, because that's that's not what I want to say, and, and I don't think that I'm like anywhere near that kind of level. But as I continue to grow, I want to make sure that I, I show you guys the beautiful people in this city uh, because there is so much beauty and so much talent and so much life here. And for a very long time, um, we have been in the dark and they haven't really shine, shined a lot of light um, in this area. And a lot of people have these misconceptions that all the people from Brownsville are stupid. They have no education. Um, they only speak Spanish, or or they're they're immigrants, or they're illegals, or 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 they're fat and they're obese and they're going through the gigs, girl. <laughs> and I just want to show that that is just not always the one side that people paint. Um, there is so much more to all of the people here. So trust that I want to be that kind of example. Okay, we got a little gay mirror. I finally got my little Anastasia Beverly Hills mirror in the house. <laughs> How exciting. Okay, let me see what else we got. Ooh, okay, so they sent us more palettes. I got a highlighter palette, the house down. I have another, okay, Brownsville, Brownsville. There's a lot of wokeness in Brownsville, honey, let me tell you. We have more highlighter palettes. We got Moonchild. We got Aurora in the house. Hit the little gay like if you're enjoying this little gay video, honey. Hit the little homosexual like. And then they also sent me, oh, this is cute. The Anastasia Contour Cream Kit. Oh, yes, bitch. I'm ready to go in on this, honey. I'm ready to go in on this, the house. Hold on, there is so many stuff here, it's overflowing. Let me put some over here. <laughs> oh my God, more lips, more lips, and liquid lipsticks. Ah, there's so much, I don't even know how many, I need, a, I need to do a count. More lipsticks. Oh my God, you guys, they sent me a lot of stuff. More glow kits more glow kits more glow kits oh and hold on and we got the palettes oh my god okay i do not own all of these i think i own maybe like two or three because i am a huge fan of the anastasia palettes but let me show you i they sent me the subculture palette never used it 
Press the number five if you guys love it. I've never used it before. So we, they sent me subculture. Y'all know I'm gonna have to 